Hello and welcome to another video from me, Para from 3 Commando. In this video we're going to be looking at the Rusky units from the recently released RHS Escalation which includes the ARF and the USAF uh, new models, skins, weapons and vehicles, the lot of it. Absolutely superb and there's some fantastic models in here. So let's get in and have a look. This is only version 0, 3.0 and they're going to be upgrading them soon. But for now, let's get in, have a look and I'll tell you what I think. Now this is one of my most favourite out of the release so far, the ones that I've actually seen, the one that's got the most detail on it. It really is superb when you get inside this vehicle and we shall be having a look as we get further in. There are actually two variants here. Uh, the one on the left is the BTR-60 and the one on the right is the BTR-70 that we'll be looking at which is the updated version. A development from the BTR-60 series represents a low cost, highly deployable armoured personnel carrier intended to equip motor rifle units not slated to receive BMPs. Compared to BTR-60, the BTR-70 has improved engines, thicker armour and improved armament. The BTR-70 is equipped with a 14.5mm by 115mm KB VT heavy machine gun and coaxial 7.62 by 54 r PKT. It carries 8 soldiers and has a crew of 2. Superseded by the BTR 80s, though, the BTR 70 remains in service alongside the newer vehicles. As you can see inside here, absolutely fantastic modelling on this one. The 2S25 Sprut SD, in Russian meaning octopus, is a light tank tank destroyer based on the BMD 3 chassis. It was designed to give anti-armour capabilities to the Russian Airborne Forces or VDV, and Naval Infantry as well as other special units of the ground forces. It can be parachuted from a plane with the crew inside and has amphibious capabilities. The S-225 is armed with a 125mm anti-tank gun fitted with auto loader to ensure a high rate of fire between 6 to 8 rounds a minute. The main gun can load both conventional projectiles and guided missiles. A 7.62 PKT coaxial machine gun serves as a secondary weapon. It can also higher and lower its suspension. The 2S3 Atalaska, meaning Acacia is a Soviet 152.4mm self-propelled artillery piece developed in response to the American M109 Paladin. The 2S3M version is an improved version with increased ammunition and equipped with a mechanised drum type storage for 12 rounds. It's crewed by a driver, a gunner, a loader, a commander and two ammunition bearers. The 2S3M's main gun is 152.4mm. It's an L27 howitzer that can fire projectiles up to 18.5km or 24km if using rocket assisted projectiles. It is a remotely controlled 7.62 PKT situated in the commander's cupola for self defence. The BM21 in Russian meaning hail is a Soviet designed truck mounted 122mm multiple rocket launcher. It's usually mounted in the Ural 4320 truck family chassis. Its main strength lies in the ability to quickly bring a rain of rockets on an enemy target, making it really effective, especially at short range. One single battalion can deliver up to 720 rockets in a single volley, usually 40 rockets per truck, but the downside is the lack of precision compared to classical artillery. The grad system is usually manned by a three-man crew that can place the truck and set the system in three minutes. Firing the rockets from the truck cab or through a wired trigger at 64 metres, rockets can be fired one by one, in groups or all at once. The Kamov K-52 Alligator is an improved version of the Russian single-sea attack helicopter, the Ka-50 Black Shark, 
with an additional co-pilot position to operate the new Optronics radar suite. Both pilots have full controls of the helicopter without limitations and it can operate in all kinds of weather, day and night. It features the Kamov's characteristic coaxial rotor system, which removes the need of a tail rotor, improves the aircraft's agility, allowing it to perform extreme combat manoeuvres and increase the speed up to 315 kilometres, 22 kilometres faster than the AH-64. It also includes ejection seats for both pilots, a rare characteristic in helicopters. The KA-52 can be armed with a 30mm fixed 2A42 gun on the side of the fuselage, 12 laser guided Vicar enter anti-tank missiles, not easy to say, with a range of up to 10 kilometers, and two B8V20 rocket launchers with 40 S8 rockets. Quite a nice looking model from the pack actually, and uh, quite an iconic, interesting looking helicopter. The ZSU-23 Forshilka is an armoured, self-propelled anti-aircraft weapon system. It's armed with the quad water-cooled 23mm 2A7 auto cannons that altogether can reach a rate of fire of 3,000 to 4,000 rounds a minute. The turret is fully stabilised and can be fired on the move. The Shilka armour is light and provides protection only against small arms fire and shell fragments. This mod's version has a three-man crew, commander, driver and a gunner. It's also a beast, you can see from the shell casings. <laughs> 